All right, we're headed out to deal with a Blood Elf incursion in progress here in Amon Vale. So we're going to the far southwestern corner, and we're looking for a scout who hasn't reported back yet. Get Rockbiter weapon going before we get into any combat. We have our lesser armor, our elixir of defense, giving us a boost to our defense. Good fortune. Help! Blood Elves! They ambushed me. Don't have long. You must eliminate the Blood Elf threat. Find out what they're up to. They're on the ridge behind me. Feels like maybe we should heal this guy. But he, he looks fine, but he's acting like he's about to die. Dionysaka. Looks like we got this one that got dragged by us. Okay, nope. The guy pulled him off of us. Is he doing okay? I think he's fine. We'll grab this other scout off of him though, just in case. Might as well. Alright, we picked up an item called Blood Elf Plans, which is going to give us a quest if I can get into my bag here. These plans seem important. You should take them to Vindicator Aldar at the crash sites. We need to find a lot more Blood Elves. We probably should like start a group with some of these guys that we see around here fighting. It would be maybe a good idea. Possibly, maybe. There we go. Of course, I have the opportunity to group with a human being who has a name that I should probably report them for, and I'm not even going to bother like saying it out loud. <laughs> it's wonderful. WoW players are mature and awesome, all of them.
I'm not going to report him, though. Somebody else can do it. As Taliesin says, I ain't no snitch. The Legion's end draws near. Well, let's see. We're going to grab the weathered leather vest. I have a plan. We must kill their leader. Without their master, perhaps they will retreat to regroup. We just need to buy time until the repairs are completed. Then Vindicator Aldar must know of this. We already killed the leader. That's <laughs> that's the funny thing about that. Is we've already done that. I guess they expect that you're going to kill 10 long before you get to the top here. And you're just going to not kill the named enemy. Like, but why would you wait? And I think we're just turning both of the quests that we have now back into the Vindicator back at the crash sites. Yep. Mm, this one might have been okay to hearth back, but again, it doesn't. We're way up that hill when we hearth back anyway. Then we have to run down the hill to get to the crash site. It feels like we might as well just run everywhere in this little area. I thank you for dealing with the Blood Elf Surveyor. Surely she was their leader. Rest assured, we will deal with whatever remnant of them is still nearby. Uh, we will take the one-handed mace. Here, let me read those plans. The Blood Elves have followed us here. They are evil to the core. Should be wiped from existence. That seems a little bit radical. Like, do we know a lot about the Blood Elves at this point? Like, would the Draenei know a lot about the Blood Elves? I don't really understand that part. Because they just crashed here, right? There were no Blood Elves where they came from. The Vindicator takes a moment to regain his composure. I apologize. That was uncalled for. We are indebted to you for uncovering this information. While you were out investigating the Shadow Ridge, Zana here has been going on about the holographic emitter. You might want to speak with her. Good health, long life. Greetings, friend. I got it. I got it. I think I managed to fix the emitter. Here, I'll just activate this last crystal and that should do it. By the seven Etamal crystals, others have survived the crash? Zana, is that you? It is so good to see you again. And who do we have here? No doubt the communication possible. I give you the greetings from Azure Watch. Judging by your signal, we put you just southeast of the larger part of the island we crashed onto. Cross the Crystal Brook River to the... Sorry, there's a lot of static. All right, on to Azure Watch we go. And yeah, that's everything taken care of here. No other quests, so everything is completed here. Let's check with our trainer, learn our level six abilities. Uh, we get Earthbind Totem. 
Summons the Earthbind Totem with 5 health. Slows the movement speed of enemies in 10 yards. And we get Healing Wave rank 2. I'm going to go ahead and I'll replace rank 1 with rank 2. Earthbind Totem could be good once we have enemies that are running away from us. I'm kind of running out of places here. Let's go ahead and we will turn on some more action bars. There we go. Get our shift keys going. Let's do this. All right. And now we're going to have a long run to the west. I will use some editing magic and I will see you guys there. Alright, I did pick up the breadcrumb quest this time that we missed in the original playthrough and had to go back for. Let's do this fishing quest really quick. The Naru have not forgotten us. Seek the path. We're not actually fishing. We are just going to be catching them with a net. However, I am going to go ahead and learn fishing here. Okay, nothing seemed to happen there. Oh, we are getting credit. We're just not tracking the quest. <laughs> We're not going to see any pop-ups. So, if you want to see what's happening, track the quest. Angry Murloc, no doubt aggravated that we're stealing his dinner. Oh, he's carrying a red snapper too, that's convenient. Did this respawn the, the same fish pool that we just looted? Okay, I guess it did. I am okay with that. Taking a lot of hits, the defensive potion definitely doing some work for us here. Alright, that is all 10. Let's head back. Let's get out of the water so we can move a little faster. Kai, 
Jedi Christor. Oh no! <laughs> I totally forgot that she gives us these. Oh well. Be kind to the uh, it's fortune. really awesome and some money wasted. Let's go ahead and sell the duplicate fishing rod. So guys, don't don't buy the rod. Or the bauble. Just wait till she gives it to you. You guys already knew that. My memory is like basically non-existent, so even though I just did this quest like last week, totally forgot that. We have the great Moongrace hunt. He wants us to bring six Moongrace stag tenderloins back to resupply the camp here. They need food. Everyone's hungry. Supplies are low. May your days be long and your hardships be The Naru have not forgotten us. These are our breadcrumb quests that brought us here. Let's turn these in and we'll set our hearth here. I hope you find something useful. Take the spring water. Set the hearthstone. I'm kind of surprised there's not uh, a trainer here for leather working or skinning. I would have thought that they would have put some of the basic trainers out here, but maybe they didn't do that until later expansions. Maybe you still have to go to the main city for that. Ah, uh, the first aid trainer is here. Open your heart That's something, I guess. And she wants some root trapper vines to help out with this injured night elf priestess here. Favor the road traveled by few. Warm wishes to you. And we'll go ahead and learn first aid. Be kind to those Herbalism trainer. Herbalism. Weirdly, it's it's not marking like all of the trainers, is it? Huh. It's a little bit strange. So we have an herbalism trainer, an alchemy trainer, but we have no leatherworking and skinning. We even have an engineering trainer. I find this hard to believe. Let's look around a little bit more. I feel like there has to be a skinner here. I mean, this guy over here is basically wearing a, a set of crafted leather gear, so... He's the hunter trainer. Leather merchant. Yeah, maybe there's not a skinner here. It's, it's so weird. You would think of all the basic professions that they'd have, like just standing around town, that that would be one of them. Okay, oh well, we're wasting time. Let's see here. We need to head south, south of here. Yeah, eventually, off recording, I'll, I'll run over to the Exodar, and I'll, I'll pick up leatherworking and skinning. I feel like I should probably just do that now. Like, honestly, we're going to be killing these stags, and I would really like to be skinning them as we go. And hopefully by doing that, making ourselves some, some leveling gear. So, yeah, I'm going to run over to the Exodar. I'll, I'll cut back in on the way back. All right, I went ahead and learned skinning and leather working at the Exodar and we hearthed back. And now we can head south and start finding these moon gray stags and the root trappers and we'll be able to actually skin the stags. I did remember to buy a skinning knife.
Uh, we never equipped our mace upgrade. Let's take care of that. We'll use the scroll of spirits. We need to equip our chest piece, which we just weren't wearing a chest piece. That's uh, much better. There we go. All right, now we're ready to fight some stuff. Potentially, maybe, if there is any stuff to be fought. I'm not seeing anything yet. Here we go. Now you might be asking, how soon and how often will I forget to skin? Probably early and often, but I'll do my best to try to remember. Most of you guys know things that I'm really bad at, uh, remembering to skin things and remembering to empty my inventory when I'm back in town. Both very important things actually. I forgot just how many failed attempts we could have early on while we're trying to skill up our leather or skinning. Quite a few failed attempts will happen. Alright, there's six out of six tenderloins. Now we need to find some root trappers. Haven't really been seeing a lot of them. Uh, let's see what's over here. No, that is a... Some kind of timber strider. There's gotta be a whole area that is more dense with them. No, there's one over here. Not exactly the density that I was hoping for. And guys, I'm sorry if these first few episodes of the series are a bit longer than usual. I am trying to kind of go a little bit more quickly to get caught up to where we were at. And as part of that, I'll probably have slightly longer episodes uh, until we do get caught up, which we're pretty close. We have only have a, like a handful of quests to do to get back to where we were at on the beta. Alright, random bird. If we must do this, we will do it. We will skin you. You'll at least be worth the trouble. I'd love to find a bigger population of the Lashers around here. But I think we're kind of heading maybe too far south. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. 
when I get more totems, is there going to be like one button to throw down all my totems? Or am I going to have to throw down each elemental type of totem individually? I have a feeling in BC I have to throw them down individually, don't I? That's going to be a lot of buttons that don't really do any attacks. I guess I'll probably just be using the, the, the earth totem and what a fire totem for DPS most of the time. And then we'll have a water totem for some heals that I, I won't need to put out every combat. Alright, it took a little longer than I would have liked to find the rest of those root lashers, but we got them. Let's get these turned in. Our inventory is full. Not a surprise. Not a surprise. More prices here are reasonable. Make sure we don't sell anything that we actually need. See, we need this. Uh, that has much more armor on it, so we will equip that and sell the old one. Be well. There we go. That's a little better. Each day is a blessing. Now that you've cut your teeth with the moon gray stag, it's time you graduated to more formidable prey. Do not allow the casual disinterest of the Moongrave's bucks to fool you. When provoked, they are a fearsome foe. The bucks are north of here. Remember the lessons of the past. And we hit level seven. Nothing to learn yet. Blessings upon you. Dionysaka. We're applying the ointment to the night elf priestess's wounds. It appears the ointment is ineffective. Such a pity. Oh, wait. Where am I? What? What is this place? By the light of a loon, Eridar, cursed demons, what have you done to me? I have not come alone. We will fight you as we have in the past. And go to sleep. But how? We are not Eridar. She must know. If there are others like her, we must find them and explain. Warm wishes to you. The girl is too far gone for mere ointments to be effective. There may be another way. The forest of Azurmis holds many secrets, one of those being a rare plant known as the Azure Snapdragon that some claim to be a panacea, a cure-all. You can identify the plant by its stark contrast to the other plants of Azure Mist and its need to grow at the base of the Azure Pine Trees. Alright, we are going to do that. We're going to take a break here though before we head north. We'll be looking for bucks and we'll be looking for the snapdragon plants we'll also pick up a quest to take on the night sabers so that will be next time guys as always thank you for joining me today really appreciate the support it does mean the world to me so take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we'll see you back in azure mist isle really soon bye now